In this video, we are going to cover three stages calculation, multi calculation, and data item. Okay, I've created a new sub page in the process studio as you can see. All right, here I'm going to perform addition calculation. Okay, just click, drag, and drop, or else you can double click, drop, drop, drop. Okay. There are also the shortcut keys for these stages, which is available in the tools menu. Okay, you could use these shortcut keys as well. Okay, so I've just dropped the calculation stage and data item to pass the inputs to the addition. This is A value, this is B value, and this is to store the result. data type is number and the value is 100 B data type is number and the value is 1000 and C result the data type is number you could give it the blank as well Okay, now let's go to the calculation stage. You can change the name in the calculation stage as addition. Okay, this is called expression builder. All right, so just click and drag plus, just click and drag. So this is the A plus B addition. And you have to store the result in this data item result. Okay. You have to link all, all these stages. You cannot link the data items. Okay. Now let's begin the process. Right. Let me delete this. setting and running from here the result is 1100 okay now we can perform the subtraction as well from the result you can subtract the a value and store it in another data item Calculation. I want to subtract the result from the value A minus A value. Then store it in subtraction result. Let's run this. I'm sorry, I have to link it. See, this is how we have to perform the calculation. This will become quite messy if you want to perform multiple operations, multiple arithmetic operations in the calculation stage. So, in order to do that, we can use the multi calc. Okay, I'm just deleting the stages. All right, let's drag and drop the multi calc. Double click it. Okay. We want to perform the addition A plus B. Store it in 
result. Okay. Add one more. We have to perform this abstraction. So result minus a. Store it in sub. If we want to perform division also, we can perform it. Result divided by a value and store it in divide. As you can see, the data item has been automatically created. Alright, let's link it. Do the reset. That's running. See, addition value is 1000, subtraction value is 1000, and the division value is 11. In the next video, we will discuss about other stages as well. Thank you.